welcome to your workout. It's gonna be mostly a standing workout and a couple of, uh, at the end, we're gonna do some lunging, pulsing back and forth, and then a, a lizard stretch. So we're gonna work on our hip flexibility and do some knee to chest, and then some extensions like that. Should be quick and painless. Uh, so just grab your mat, you don't need any props or anything, and I'll catch you in a second. to the floor but you're standing you're in a standing position and you're forward folding um, we're gonna do a twisted knee exercise first so you cross one leg over the other put your hands to the floor or put them on a chair or some sort uh, and then you come up onto your tippy toes and you're gonna bend at the knees bend at the knees and we're just pumping up our quad muscles here so again you can have your arms or hands resting on a chair. So you'd be in this position where you're um, supporting yourself or down on the floor, whatever's more comfortable for you. And you know, the side view of this is you're just coming down, um, you're hovering above your heels. As you squat, you're gonna feel this in your quads. Giving a little bit of a plie. There's the front view. All right. Then you're going to switch over the legs. So now put the left, the left foot in front. Same thing. You're just opening up the knees into a little bit of a squat. Standing on your tippy toes. And you know, do about 20 of those. You're gonna feel the legs working pretty good. And the next one is gonna be just a knee to the chest. So again, you're forward folding. The left knee is gonna come and you're just extending it out. We're gonna do the bent knee version of this in just a second. So just swinging out the leg, you're getting a good stretch in the standing leg. Okay, now we're gonna incorporate a bent knee. So when you come in, bend both knees, bring them in, go for 20. And 19, 20. Okay, then set the foot down. So we're just gonna lower and lift the legs. So you're still getting a deep stretch in the the uh, flat leg, the one that's extended, the one that's flat to the floor, the other leg is kicking up. They're both extended, but you know what I mean. <laughs> A strong back kick. 19 and 20. Bring the leg down, let's walk it out for just a second. Then we're gonna open up into a half moon. So take the same leg that you've been working and open up the hips. So you are in this nice, long, extended shape. So both arms are extended, both legs are extended. Hold here, you can support your hand using a yoga block or put it down to the floor and uh, crack your back. <laughs> Let's kick the leg, kick the back leg. And then we're gonna switch over and do everything on the other leg. A lot of work on the back hip. Then take your foot if you can and see if you can stretch it out. So now you're getting a quad stretch and a hamstring stretch for both the legs. And then go ahead and swing it down and release, roll the body up. Let's switch sides. Um, first thing is, we did the twisted knee. So we're gonna bring the knee to the chest. Both legs are gonna be, well the, the left leg is staying straight for this one. Bring the knee to the chest and just swing it out. Just a warm up. Then we'll bend both knees. So it's almost like 
standing cat cow. Let's go ahead and bend both knees, bring the knee in to the chest and bend on both. Working the quads. That was about 20 of those. Set your foot down. We're gonna do the strong leg kick. So catch your breath and then let's just kick it out. And 19, 20, set it down. Give it a little walk out. Then we're gonna open up into our half moon. Okay, so balance on both hands. See if you can open up the uh, top arm. So my right arm and right leg are up, and my left arm and left leg are down. And then let's kick. Balancing, and then bring that foot close to your glute for a stretch. Ooh. All right, and then we're gonna take everything and set it back down. And then come down into a malasana squat. So you're gonna shimmy yourself down. It looks goofy, but shimmy, shimmy, shimmy down. Use your hands for support. Walk your heels a little bit closer. So I'm using the elbows to uh, press into my knees. So this is this funny malasana squat, a good hip opener. Whew. All right, just stretch here for just a second. And then we're gonna open up the arms. Come back into prayer, open up again. Let's just do a couple of these. Back into prayer, open, stretch the lower back. You can go into a bind if you want to. And one more on each side. Good. Bring the hands back into prayer. And then we're gonna do some step back lunges. So keep one leg back here and bring the other knee forward. And uh, so we're in our lunge position here. Step forward, step back, forward, back, and back. Deep lunges, crescent lunges. Good hip extension here and back bend. And then when we come down, you're gonna land, flatten out that foot, and let's just stretch. So the front view of this, both knees are bent. You're just gonna stretch. You can open the hands and sway, or you can keep them together. And just stretch. And then hands behind the head. And let's just lunge forward with the chest. It's really warm today, Tampa, Florida. I don't know if we ever get a winter. <laughs> All right, so that was about 10 of those. I'm gonna show you the side view. Take your back leg and you can rest your elbow on this knee and you wanna just pull in for a little bit of stretch. You can pretend like you're doing that dancer pose if you can get your arms close. So this would be like a pseudo dancer pose yoga style just for a good little quad stretch. And then come out of it. Let's go ahead and step the other foot forward. So I've got my left knee forward, my left leg, my right leg is back. 
You can do the side bends. Just pulse it a little bit from side to side. Sway or open the arms and sway. And then we'll go into our chest dive. If you need to prop up your toes for balance, you could do that. Chewy is being groomed right now, so next time you see him, he'll have a little bit of a haircut. Bob is gonna go in right after him. He's sitting over there quietly. And that was about 10 of those. Now we're gonna catch this foot if you um, are able to catch it and then try to get those hands as close together as you can, just for fun. We're just doing a little quad stretch. And then let's take it into a lizard pose. So you're just gonna roll, I'll show you like kind of the front view, roll the left foot out to the lateral side, flatten out the back foot, pull in and out for one, two, three, four, and five. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come down to my mat where it's cushiony and then rest your arms. You can open up your hands, palms up, or um, press them to the floor. So you're getting a nice little lizard stretch. A couple of breaths here. Push up swing over to the other side. So we're gonna push the knee and bring it in. So push out to the side of the foot, bring it in, out and in, and one more time. And then you can walk down the hands, open. You wanna be on your cushiony floor, your mat, the hardwood floor, it doesn't feel that great. And then just kind of Nestle into your stretch, and that will be the end of the workout. Ooh, and walk it up. You can take a couple of breaths there, um, or just, you know, give it a good little stretch. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll catch you another day. Take care. Bye.